Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is some architectural visualization. Um, and we've got two images to get us started. We have this one, which is like a planning drawing. And we have a reference image of what the final building will look like. So if I just open up the plans, uh, you can see here that we don't have any dimensions or anything as yet. Okay, which is fine. Um, we'll, we'll get to that point eventually. But what we're going to do is just use this as a reference to build up from and sort of learn the techniques of, of doing that. We don't have any side elevations. We're just working from these, these plans for now. You know, once we get used to this, then we can move on to you know the side elevations, using dimensions and that kind of thing. But you know, one stage at a time. So we've got this reference image as well, just so that we can see, you know, as we don't have the side elevations, what this building is supposed to look like from the plans. Okay, and we're going to make our own 3D model of this. So how are we going to do that? Um, first of all, we need to import this image as a reference in 3ds max so i have 3ds max open here um, what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a plane which is just a flat surface which i'm going to apply that planning drawing as a texture so i'm just going to make the plane don't worry about what size it is at the moment uh, if you right click down the bottom here you've got your x y and z coordinates of where this object you have selected is in this kind of world space. So if you right click on these arrows, you can move them, but if you right click on them, you'll reset them to zero. It's just good practice to keep your model like centered to zero uh, from the beginning. You'll also see you've got this grid here. Uh, some people like using the grid as a reference, some people don't. I personally don't, so you can use the G key to toggle that on and off. I'll let you decide what to do with that one. So we want to make sure this plane is a good size so that when I add the image to it, the image isn't going to be squashed or stretched. So um, if I just sorry, come to my planning drawing here, I need to keep the right kind of aspect ratio of the image. So I'm going to right click it, go to the properties of the image, go to details, and you get the dimensions of the image, yeah? So how many pixels it is wide by how many pixels it is high. If we use that as the actual size of the plane, then the image will not be squashed or stretched. So it's 545 by 564. So come to the Modify tab, this here. And the first thing I've noticed is that I actually have my 3ds Max set to uh, centimeters as the units. You might have the same or you might not. Um, I'm not working with dimensions currently, so I'm going to change this back to the just default settings. So I'm going to go to customize, unit setup, and I want this to just be generic units for now. When we come to using dim dimensions, we use these, but for now, generic units. And I'm going to push OK. All right, so what was it again? I've forgotten already. 545564. 545. Five, six, four. Okay, now my plane is the same size as that image. Great, so I'm just going to turn on my edged faces. All right, make sure you do the same. I can see that I've got some geometry that I'm not going to need, all right, because these segments are already turned up to four. If you again, if you right click those, the length and the width, that will just turn them off. So we don't have any unnecessary geometry or any lines going in the way, of getting rid of in the way of my reference image. Next up, I want to add this as a texture. So I'm going to go up here to my material editor. And there it is. Um, I don't need any fancy materials for this, so it's just going to drag in a standard one. Okay. And if you're just affecting the base color, you want to uh, use this diffuse color channel. So come up here, general bitmap, and then find wherever you saved that planning drawing. Um, I just drop mine into a new folder here, and there's plans. Okay, lovely. So I'll just move this to the side. My plane is selected, and I'm going to click this icon here, assign material to selection, and that assigns that material to this plane. But I can't see it still, 
So we need to make sure we just double click this material. It's got the little trail around it, so we know it's selected. And I'm just gonna select here, show shaded material in the viewport, click that, you get that red and blue, you know, thing that's, that shows that it's on. And I can see my image in the viewport now. Okay, let's close that material editor. We don't need that anymore. Great, so we're, we're basically there. We've got this reference image ready to go. But the issue is, um, you know, if I started working on my model over the top of this, it would be very easy to just move it and then everything is no longer aligned. And then you might not notice and you might start aligning something over here, but not realizing that you accidentally, accidentally moved it and, you know, it could cause a lot of issues. So we need to just freeze this. Um, and it would be nice and easy to just come over here. Um, see, there's my plane and click frozen and it would freeze it. But although that, that does freeze it, so now I can't select it, look, but my image is gone, which I don't want. So I'm just going to unfreeze it so I can select it again. What I need to do is come over to these tabs over here and there's a little one that looks like a monitor. If I click that one, scroll right down. Uh, by default, this show frozen in gray is turned on. If you make sure that's off, that means now that when I freeze my object, it won't lose the image. Okay, come back to the modify tab there, just deselect it now, and now I can no longer select that. All right, so I've got my reference image that I can see. It's not squashed or stretched, it's the right size, uh, and I can't accidentally move it. Okay, so we're ready to start the modeling process. Okay, so I'll just pause it there to make sure you get to this point before you carry on.